Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. We just had a, a beautiful day here in October. Uh, feels like fall. Um, we actually got to enjoy working with the uh, sawmill all day today. We uh, sawed lumber and got a really nice pile of eastern red cedar cut up. And now we're going to be tackling some uh, black oak. We've got a bunch of black oak logs we're going to be milling, but I just wanted to give a little plug tonight. We're, uh, we've got some more he uh, bread heifers. Uh, these are red Angus heifers. They're not green pastures farm heifers. These are a friend of mine up in North Missouri, uh, northwest up by actually north of Chillicothe, about, I don't know, 30, 25, 30 miles. And uh, just some really, really nice frame size. They're going to mature out about 1,000 pounds. Got them preg checked uh, the other day, and these are going to be calving starting uh, April 25th, and they'll run for about 40 to 50 days. Um, they're, uh, they're broke to a hot wire, and they've been rotated. Um, they're just a, just a real nice set of heifers. There's 10 of them, and uh, we're going to put, actually, they're on the website right now, greenpasturesfarm.net. I just started the auction tonight, and it will be ending on the 27th, which will be next, what is that, next Wednesday. And um, it'll end at 10 o'clock, or, you know, if there's two bidders and they want to keep bidding, I'll stay with them until there's one bidder. Uh, it's a little confusing when, you know, you got two people, and it's hard to say, well, I just stop at 10, and I'm, I'm working on the Internet, and somebody sends a bid in, and he doesn't get his bid in. And so I just say, until there's not another bid within five minutes. That's how we're going to do it. So I don't want it to be confusing. It's simple. We're not trying to pull a string over anybody's eyes, but I don't want somebody left out that was bidding and didn't get a chance to resubmit a bid. So that's the way it's going to work. Um, awful nice heifers. Like I said, uh, you can go on the website, greenpasturesfarm.net, and right on our front page, there's a a little yellow bar in the middle, you just click on that, it'll take you to the page where they're at, and you can find out more information about them. Um, we are going to be having also some cow-calf pairs uh, later on. Um, those will be coming up uh, probably in the next two or three, four days. We're getting those preg checked as well, and just kind of getting the finals, how I many there's going to be of those, but folks, there's just not any there's just not any South Pole heifers in large numbers, even 10, available. Um, you got to really look at low and hard. Uh, there was a guy that drove here from Alabama that must well, have been a month or so ago, and he found six over here uh, south of us. He drove all the way from Alabama to get them. There's just not very many available, but, you know, if you get the right frame size and you get that size down around a thousand pounds, and you get you a, a good slick heighted, uh, you know, South Pole bull, and get the problem with a lot of these uh, animals today. They're just too darn big, and they don't work on grass. I mean, there, there's grain genetics, and there's grass genetics, and to make money with grass, you can't have things that look like elephants. They're just not going to mature uh, on grass and and finish in a timely fashion and when i say timely fashion i'm talking you know 22 to 28 months um that's that's where you can make the money with grass so there's a lot of people that are coming back to the homesteads and they, they want cattle and i'm sorry you know i get emails every single day people just begging me to, to sell them some heifers and i don't have them uh we just don't so these are a really good compromise. I mean, I'd be tickled to death to start a herd with these myself. And I'd, I would, I'd, because I like slick hides, slick all your hides. I'd put a South Pole bull on them and move forward. Keep those heifers out of this cross and you're going. Now, these heifers are bred to a, uh, a feral, a kit feral influence. It, it's a kit feral bull. There's a picture of him on our website, the bull that they use on these heifers. And uh, so, you know, you're going to get some really nice red Angus calves out of them. So, good way to start. Um, I don't know any place else you're going to go get a starter herd that's going to mature out about 1,000 pounds. Most of them are going to be 12, 14, 15, 1,600 pounds. And, yeah, 
you're just not going to get there. They're just too darn big. So for what we're doing now, you know, if you're in the grain markets, you're sending them to feed lot and all that, they want them big. They want big cattle. And uh, that's not our market. You know, it's just not. So uh, we're, we're going to stay on the market of grass. And there's a lot of people, folks, that are coming back to grass fed. Um, it used to be just this little fringe niche market. It's not that way anymore. I mean, there is a lot of people and there's a lot of demand for it. So, you know, there's still, there's still room. And I don't think it's going to be a market that's going to be saturated anytime soon. That's simply because there's just not enough of them out there for people to get their hands on. So check the website out, greenpasturefarm.net. And I um, also wanted to give a, a plug. Uh, we're going to be... Uh, Going to, well, actually, it's going to be in uh, January of all things. Um, I was really shocked, but this is how things are changing. Um, I got an email, an email the other day from the Missouri Cattlemen's Association, and they asked me to be their keynote speaker this year, and that's going to be held in Columbia. It'll be on our website, and that's going to be January 7th, 8th, and 9th. Anyway, they wanted me to give a talk on regenerative grazing. And I thought, wow, that's pretty good. So I think, you know, people are starting to get the idea, you know, cattle are, we got this terrible black face, how we're destroying the environment, da, 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 da. It's all hogwash, but we need to have a better uh, fingerprint and a better face of livestock rather than this, this feedlot thing, you know, and, the grass-fed is, is that, this regenerative grazing, uh, people can identify with that. They, they want the animals to be out on grass, they want them to have a good life, and they're, they're willing to, you know, put that piece of meat on their table, because they know how the animals are raised. So, that's what we're all about, and uh, I thought that was, I just wanted to share that with you all, that's kind of neat. So, uh, yeah, you, you know, the Missouri Cattlemen Association, they're, they're getting on board, so I, I was just tickled to death of that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here, and uh, we'll see you down the road. If you're interested in those heifers, those 10 bred heifers, Red Angus, uh, they're from a friend of mine up in North Missouri, go to our website, greenpasturesfarm.net. And there will be some cow-calf pairs uh, following in the next couple, of two or three days, once we find out exactly, you know, what, what we're going to sell and the particulars on those. But anyway, y'all have a good one, and uh, we'll see y'all down the road.